All right, the I can for today is I can understand fractions. Let's say you want to share this Kit Kat bar, okay? Um, and you want to share it amongst seven friends, so including yourself, and everyone's going to have an equal piece, okay? So let's just quickly draw out eight people. So there's you, your first friend, your second friend, your third friend, your fourth friend, your fifth friend, your sixth friend, and your seventh friend. So you and seven friends, okay? So there's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight friends that want a little bit or a part, an equal part of this Kit Kat. So let's open up the Kit Kat. I feel like Charlie from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. See if there's a golden ticket. I'm just kidding. And oh, what do you know? There's a nice, oops, kind of breaking. Let's count how many pieces there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight pieces in this one candy bar, okay? So how many pieces are there in this one candy bar, in this one hole? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pieces, okay? Each person is gonna get an equal piece. So if there's eight pieces out of in the whole, each person's gonna get one out of the eight pieces. What we just created is a fraction. One eighth. Each person is gonna get one eighth of the whole Kit Kat. Remember, this is the whole, okay? This is the whole. Each person's gonna get one eighth. This top number that I just drew or wrote, it's called a numerator. The top number is what's being represented. Each person gets one out of the eight pieces. This bottom number is called a denominator, okay? The denominator tells us how many pieces there are in the whole. This one whole has eight pieces. Each person is gonna get one out of the eight pieces. This is a fraction. All right, let's keep going. We're gonna still talk about the Kit Kats and they're gonna help us with this next visual, okay? Let's say that you live in Candyland and we are going to draw where your house is. Okay, it's over here, okay. We're gonna represent that by zero. We're drawing a number line. And the other point is gonna be one hole, okay? So let's say that this represents where you live and the one represents your school. Okay, so just say home and school. And this is one mile. Okay, so from your house to school, it's one mile. All right. How many Kit Kats, just the piece, how many pieces, individual pieces, are in the one hole? One, two, three, four. Okay. So one, two, three, four. This one Kit Kat represents how much of the whole mile? This one Kit Kat represents how much of the whole mile? Let me draw my fraction bar first. Okay, how many pieces are there in the one whole? One, two, three, four. So my denominator will be four because the denominator tells us how many pieces there are in the whole, right? So, so far, one Kit Kat represents one fourth of a mile. This next Kit Kat, sorry, I should use black. This next Kit Kat, okay, is one fourth. This now represents two. This represents two out of the four pieces. That's hard to write on tape, it's kind of hard to see, but this is two out of the four pieces. 
This next Kit Kat represents three out of the four pieces. So this is zero, one fourth of a mile, two fourths of a mile, three fourths of a mile, and we can say one whole mile, or we can also say this is four fourths of a mile, which is equal to one whole. But there's four pieces in the one whole. This is your home, this is school, it's one mile to get to school, and each Kit Kat represents a fourth of a mile, where each Kit Kat is one out of the four pieces. So when you're drawing a number line with fractions and you have a whole and it's divided up into different parts, the first thing you're gonna do is count how many parts are in your whole. That will be your denominator. That's why I put a four. Then you're gonna count how many is being represented at each point. This is one out of the four. This is two out of the four. This is three out of the four, and this is four out of the four, four fourths or one whole, one whole mile. The last representation of a fraction we're gonna look at today is let's say we have one piece, okay, but this is our whole now. This is our one whole, okay, this is our one whole, okay? And let's say I cut it up, boom, like that. Okay, let's count. How many pieces did I cut up my hole into? One, two, three, four. If I want to represent each piece, I'm going to write four as my denominator because that's how many pieces are in the hole, right? Four pieces, one, two, three, four. And each piece represents one out of the four, one fourth. So if this is my whole Kit Kat, I can say that each piece is one fourth of the whole where the top number represents what you're talking about. So we're just talking about one piece here. So it's, this is one fourth out of the whole. And your bottom number is your denominator and it tells you how many pieces there are in the whole.